Malcolm Atacambi is a geek. Malcolm lives in Inglewood, California, in the Darby Dixon neighborhood referred to as the Bottoms. So it felt like it hit home in a lot of places in terms of the way that I grew up. I could relate to the quirkier side of things. Malcolm's friends, Jib and Diggy, are also geeks. All I want to do is a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. It's slightly nerdy, but it's super cool underneath it all. Malcolm, Jib, and Diggy are all deeply obsessed with 90s hip-hop culture. Submerging themselves in the music, watching old Yo! MTV Raps episodes for fashion tips, and using the slang. Still right? Malcolm and his friends are into 90s hip-hop and punk music and rocking out. The 90s were special because the music felt so different with so much diversity. Hip-hop felt like the most dangerous, exciting, innovative thing that was happening. I'll be seeing you and your little friends with y'all flat tops and MC Hammer pants. What's up with that anyway? 90s hip-hop is the golden era of hip-hop. Oh, pardon my language. I'm sorry. I'm too excited. We're all in a punk band called Oreo because... Because they're into white. Like skateboards, manga comics, Donald Glover, and for listening to white, like trash talk, TV on the radio, and for doing white, like right. getting good grades and applying to college. I'm eating food. Can bring me down. Can bring me down. Pharrell wrote and produced all the music and lyrics for the Oreo songs in the movie. We have some really great songs that are positive. They're kind of loud and kind of rock and roll feeling. And I just love it. One, two, one, two, three, four. The music is from Malcolm's perspective. Yeah, first day in school. If you listen to the music, it's like you hear the freedom inside the, the voice. When you watch the power of them they're rocking out and jumping up and down and screaming, it's a celebratory kind of thing. Like the nerdy kid that has something to say. We are Oreo. You about to turn up, okay? The angst that you feel in the chorus of, like, a don't get deleted, it's on purpose. It's music turned up really loud and distorted as an exclamation to his expression. The actors, Tony, Shamik, and Kiersey, that's all them singing, and it was an incredible experience. Without the music, it would be a totally different movie. Let's record. Shakur what? The song. Come on. We were given a great opportunity to do what we've always tried to do with NERD, which is sort of push the envelope. Waiting for some inspiration. Inspiration. Yes. You know, push the conscious barrier. Shit. To pass by. To pass by. It's my turn now. It's my turn now. The music really drives home the energy and the attitude and the mind frame of who these kids are. Who do you think you are? We celebrate individuality and realizing the value and in intelligence. So who am I? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... Hi, I'm Valerie. So you think you know movies? Well, did you know that in Toy Story, the carpet in Sid's house is the same as the one in The Shining? Next up, Olaf's Dance with the Seagulls in Frozen is a tribute to Mary Poppins, where Berta dances with the penguins. And sticking with Frozen, in early drafts of the movie, Elsa was a blue-skinned villain who wore a coat of weasels. <laughs> no way. So glad they didn't go ahead with that idea. Subscribe to keep up to date on all the latest releases and movie news.